for you i hope all of you are fine today we are going to discuss about a famous theory of pythagoras that is pythagoras theorem pythagoras is an ancient greek philosopher he made this theory and gave an equation that the famous equation is pythagoras theorem. so we will do an activity by which we can prove the pythagoras theorem so let's come to that first of all see these are the materials required Now you can see these three triangles, and we know that the triangles are divided into three types based on angles. If all the angles of a triangle is less than 90 degree, then it is an acute angle triangle. So this is less than 90. All the angles less than 90. Degree. All the angles. Another triangle whose one angle is 90 degree. this one so this triangle is known as right angle triangle and another angle whose one angle is more than 90 degree then that triangle is obtuse angle triangle so to use pythagoras theorem we will use the right angle triangle because the pythagoras theorem will only hold in this right angle triangle so we will remove all these triangles and we will take only this triangle now we have taken a piece of paper and we have ta taken a triangle like this and we have drawn a triangle of right angle triangle this right angle triangle this is 90 degree angle and the sides which are adjacent to this 90 degree this side and this side these two sides are known as perpendicular and base so i am writing perpendicular here this is perpendicular and this is base and this side is hypotenuse if you rotate this triangle like this then you can take this as perpendicular and this as base so perpendicular can be any one as per your choice now what we will do we will draw a square taking the hypotenuse as the side and we will draw another square taking the perpendicular as the side and we will draw third square taking the base as the side so let's draw using scale and using pencil we will draw it so let's see what is the side of hypotenuse hypotenuse is 5 unit so we will draw a square of 5 unit side each one square drawn and the perpendicular is 4 unit so we will draw a square of 4 unit of each side next the base is 3 unit so we'll draw a square of side 3 unit each so now you can see we have got a square with side hypotenuse and a square with side perpendicular and a square and side base now with the help of this scissor we will cut it so now we have got this triangle this is one big square this is another square this is another square now we will find out the area of this square this square and this square okay, so what will be the area of this square this side hypotenuse this into this means this square this hypotenuse square is the area of this square area of this square is perpendicular square the area of this square is perpendicular square and what will be the area of this square area of this square is the base square so let us find out the area of this area of this and area of this so to find out the area of this square so what we will do we will use the pencil and scale to draw the unit squares 
So the side is 5 unit, so we will draw unit square. Next we will draw square units of this square all. So this small square is one unit. So you can see this small square and this small square are the same because we have taken one small square as one, one unit. Okay, each of one unit using scale. Now we will draw the third square and we will divide it into small small square units. So we have got this small square. Now this is the triangle. This is the square with side hypotenuse and this is the square with side perpendicular and this is the square with side base. Now, if I count the area of this square and this square and this square, okay. So we can, if we count the number of squ uh, unit square, we will get the total area of this square. If I count the number of, uh, how many number of uh, unit square in this square, we will find out the area of this square and same as the area of this square also counting the number of square units. So let's count. The big square. The total small square is 25. So the area of this square is 25 square units. The area of this small square is 9 square units. The area of this small this square is 16 square units. This is the right angle triangle, this is the hypotenuse square, this is the perpendicular square and this is the base square. Now based on this you have got the idea that what we have got it here. The perpendicular is how much? Perpendicular square. We can say it as P square. This is how much? This is perpendicular square, this is 16. Now base square. Base square. Base square is how much? Means B is 9. And this hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse H. H square. H square is how much? 25. So this is perpendicular square. Perpendicular square means perpendicular into perpendicular. Perpendicular square. Perpendicular into perpendicular. This is 16. Base square means base into base, base into base, base square, base square is 9, 9 square units and hypotenuse square, hypotenuse into hypotenuse, so hypotenuse into hypotenuse, hypotenuse square equal to 25. Now from here we can see that if I add these two we will get this, means 16 plus 9 is 25, so 16 plus 9 is 25 means what, Perpe 16 is what, perpendicular square? And 9 is what? 9 is base square. Perpendicular square plus base square is equals to hypotenuse square. And this is the Pythagoras theorem. If the perpendicular is given, base is given, hypotenuse is given, if I make the perpendicular square plus base square, you will get the hypotenuse square. It will be for any right angle triangle. Right. You can do this activity at home using some other right angle triangle using some other base and perpendicular and hypotenuse with different measurement. So hope you liked it, hope you have enjoyed, hope you have learned something. Thank you, have a good day.